Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's off map build, I'm going to show you a quick and simple end game Golden Gun build that is incorporating the Connect Search mod bug and making Golden Gun do more damage than it shouldn't do. You may have heard about it, but if not, basically how many Connect Search mod will enhance your Golden Gun damage by how many stacks you have. At times 3, you get a 20% damage buff for Golden Gun, which is neat for the extra layer of damage for an already sub-usable exotic. So here's an easy endgame build to create around it that will give you your super off fast and make full use of it at max capacity. To start, you're going to want to have on your marks where getting a precision kill will grant you and allies a boost in handling and reload speed. Then you want to knock them down which allows our super marksman gun gun increased duration. Although Blade Barrage tends to be the go-to for many players when using Solar Hunter, Golden Gun is still viable depending on how you build around them. Damage may be lower, but the usage can be amplified with faster super regen, so you can spam them more often. In our case, we'll be using Times 3 Connect Surge mods to enhance our Golden Gun and further enhance Celestial Nighthawk damage even more. You can get around a 300k to 500k damage with the right setup in mind. Looking into the fragments, Ember of Torches where power mini attacks get your combatants make you and nearby allies radiant, Ember of Ashes where you apply more scorch stacks to targets, Ember of Searing where defeating scorch targets grant mini energy and create fire sprite, Ember of Blistering where defeating targets with solar ignition grants grenade energy, and Ember of Shark where your solar ignition spreads scorch to other targets. Our focus is to make sure we're getting our super energy back no matter what we do. And the best way for this is to build everything into our grenades and get fire swipes back fast. With Ember Searing, Blistering and Ashes are playing, each time we score to target with our abilities, we will trigger an ignition that will not only grant us grenade energy back, but also super energy as well for the grenade kill and triggering Ashes to Ashes mod. I would highly recommend you make use of the Fireball grenade mods for this season, as this will make getting grenade kills faster and also make it less time inducing to spec heavily into the one stat. Your melee is also down to you, but ideally the nice trick melee option will be the fastest in terms of granting you a quick ignition. For the mods and stats section, we're going to invest into discipline, intellect and resilience on the side for the extra layer of damage reduction. Let's start with the simple one, which is the discipline stat. At tier 7, we can utilize our firebolt grenades and seasonal mods to have a higher and faster rate of scorch and condition targets. I have mine at tier 10 so that when I do use my grenades with my melee, I can constantly feed back into my abilities without the need of further mods or even weapon perks at hand. This here will allow the Ashes to Ashes mod to work over time and grant us energy as long as we get those kills in mind. Keep your discipline stat to tier 7 and make full use of the Font of Focus mod for the plus 30 to discipline, as this can easily get you to tier 10 without needing to have specific armor to achieve this. As we do have our subclass fragments offering the ability to get mini energy back, having the momentum transfer and distribution mod will also help a lot with making this low stat get the needed energy it needs. Tier 3 is fine as you'll get an energy back for this surprisingly fast. Our intellect is at tier 5 and this along with the Funnel of Wisdom mod will grant us a tier 8 stat with the plus 30 it provides. If you want more for the mod then you will need to add another one onto the armor for a plus 50 bonus but this is a waste and it's much easier to get a tier 7 instead and use that open slot for something else. As the build is pretty understandable to create, you're going to have a lot of room to build how you choose. Charged Up is going to allow us to expand how many charges we can carry for character by plus one. Both Firepower and Element Cipher mod will allow us to constantly create orbs of power through their affiliated areas. Time Dilation will expand our time based mods by an extra five seconds. But the most important mod you must have here is the Time to Free Connect Surge mod. These mods will enhance our Celestial Nightcore damage by an extra 20% because of how Bungie coded Golden Gun. On its own, you can get around 300k on crit hits and then around 190k on non-crit hits, which is still high and reasonable to use with the mod. Once you add on other debuffs to the mix though, and that's what the build can really do some noticeable damages. Now lastly, weapons being used can be split into two areas, one for endgame and one for doing high damage. My setup is more for endgame as I want to see just how good the supposed bug is in GMs. Your primary can be a void weapon as nothing of preference is recommended this time. I have the rip time as my main secondary weapon as it's perfect for slowing champions and ultra bosses down and with our golden gun at play it will enhance the damage through shatter and super alone. 
This should make players' lives a lot easier for landing your shots and crits, as most ultra enemies are quite mobile. This will make doing GMs an example a bit more easier to manage, but not by a whole lot. Your heavy though can be the two tailed fox or the tractor cannon. Now, two tails with his catalyst can do a huge amount of damage in one volley, and has a relatively huge reserve to where you can combine that damage with your super to nuke a GM level tormentor, or simply use it against bosses as you please. On the other hand, using a tractor cannon will provide you with a 30% debuff on the target, and this stacked with our one shot golden gun means that in GMs you can one shot me bosses champs and tormentors to a degree, since the damage applied will be around a 500-600k damage. However, using tractor cannon in GMs isn't viable enough for the cost towards the build, and it's only really usable if you use this in legend tier content instead, something where the boss isn't a bullet sponge. Although the golden gun, a kinetic weapon surge bug is interesting to do and use, it's not as groundbreaking as many content creators seem to be talking about. While yes, a 20% damage buff towards Golden Gun does make Celestial Nighthawk hit more harder than before, and can make it viable enough to do one-shot champs in legendary content, that's kind of where it stands from there. I use it in Grandmaster as I want to see just how effective it would be to use such a build in the highest difficulty currently, and with Nighthawk active, I would be getting around the 300k tops onto a champion at full health, which is around two thirds of his health. Now, this is good if you intend to use this build as a simple quick damage and delete a build, designed for weakening or outright killing a target if you don't want to use your heavy. However, if you intend to use super to outright kill a target from start to finish, then you're bang out of luck, unless you already have the target weakened or at half health. I will admit that it does have its pros as you can use this for getting your super up much faster compared to your teammates, and this can help with certain urgent moments. It also does well against bosses with that crit more power being applied, it's just that it's not as game breaking as many people keep stating. It will one shot things in legend content and that's a fact, but once you hit mass and above, that's where the whole usefulness of the exotic starts to weigh down. Take my advice, use the build for getting your super up quickly and damaging tough targets to make your lives easier, but don't use this as a quick way to delete bosses in GM or raid encounters. You get one shot, and you'll need quite a bit of debuffs to make a noticeable impact, and even when that's all applied, you can probably get even more high damage by using your heavy and super together, which is probably the best way forward. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub bar here. I will leave a dim link for the build below. And for more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all. I hope to see you all again soon.